Getting help for troops returning from Iraq and Afghanistan. It is estimated that 20% of them will suffer from post-traumatic stress and other combat-related issues. So many need help. Now, nine special treatment centers are planned to do just that, help across the country. And today at Fort Campbell, ground was broken on the third of them, which will cater to members of the 101st Airborne. The longest war in American history has claimed thousands of lives, but those victims are greatly outnumbered by the men and women returning home with physical and emotional scars. The shrapnel hit my head so hard that it fractured my skull, caused multiple contusions and swelling on my brain. Staff Sergeant Tom Damaris of the 101st Airborne was nearly killed in a bomb blast during combat in 2004. In 2012, he was finally diagnosed for the mental and physical problems that have plagued him since the blast. It was a diagnosis made possible by the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund, a nonprofit that built this center in Maryland for soldiers suffering from traumatic brain injuries and post-traumatic stress. I learned that there were spots in both frontal lobes and that I had multiple tiny metal fragments still embedded in my face, scalp, and neck. Never before did my medical records had anyone used the words moderate brain injury. Thursday, ground was broken on a satellite center at Fort Campbell to help soldiers here. Retired Army Vice Chair General Dick Cody, who once commanded the Screaming Eagles, flew in for the ceremony. You heard Sergeant Domery say this happened to him in 04. He deployed twice since then. We've got to catch it before they play the second and third game. If this was a quarterback in the NFL, we'd bench him for five games. These centers are being built with private donations, and General Cody says we should consider them and healing our wounded warriors part of the national debt. Country star John Rich hosted a fundraiser at his home here in Nashville last night. We told you about that to help raise money for the $12 million treatment center at Fort Campbell. If you would like to help make a donation, go to our website, fox17.com. Click on Fox links there on the left and then look for the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund.